Hi, this is Debbie Byram in the library, and today I'm going to do a brief tutorial on using Destiny Discover and exploring some of your library's resources. To get to Destiny from the Stanwood High School homepage, look for the link that says Library Catalog. This takes you to the Destiny main page or Classic Destiny. From here on the left side of your screen, click on Destiny Discover. This platform is a little more user friendly for students and has a few extra added features. Next, you'll need to log in. In the upper right corner, click Login. Log in using the same username and password that you do for your school's Google account. Students will simply type in their student number for their password. You can browse through the catalog in a variety of ways. You can search the recently added books. You can browse through our new eBooks. You can browse through popular titles, or you can search by topic or genre. You can also come up to the search bar and just type in a search term. It will automatically default to a keyword search. If you know a specific author, for example, that you'd like to read, you can simply click on the plus sign to the right of the search bar. And there's a drop down menu where you can choose from keyword, title, author, subject, or series. So I can click on author and set my options. And then I can type in Stephen King, for example and hit enter. And it will bring up all of the books by Stephen King. You can scroll down and look at the list of Stephen King books that are available. You can see if they are in or if they're currently checked out. If the book is checked out, you can simply click hold to put it on hold, or you can also add it to your favorites list. So let's say you're looking for some information on the topic of overpopulation. You can just come to the search bar, type that in, and click Enter. First thing that will come up in the search results will be the list of books, and the Books tab is highlighted. You can see that we have a brand new ebook, and ebooks allow you to open them up and preview them before you check them out if you want to. So I'll go into a little more detail later on about how to use our ebooks. We do have 16 new ebooks in our collection. So it tells you here that it's an ebook with a little E icon. And down here on the next one, this is just a regular book. It just has a little picture of a book. To the right of the Books tab is the databases. So when you click on databases, it will start searching all of our free databases as well as the subscription databases. When you see that it says search still in progress, um, it does take a few minutes to pull up all of the information. Okay, so once your search results come up, you can see the list of databases. Some of the free databases we have, like CNN, National Geographic, it shows you a number, how many resources are found under each database. As you scroll down, you will see ProQuest, our subscription databases, and you can see some of them, like the ProQuest Research Library, has a very large number of resources. So if you want to look at all of the resources within the ProQuest Research Library, simply click on that and it'll bring up all of the articles with the title and a brief description. If you want to look at a specific article, just simply click on that article title and it will open it up in a new tab in ProQuest. And then you can simply click on the full text to get the full information on the article. And back in your previous tab, your search results remain open. Now, if this is um, something that you want to use later on, you can just simply add it to your favorites list. And that way you can come back later and quickly retrieve that article again without having to go through your search again. To go back, click on the back arrow. Now this is where you might want to narrow the search down a little bit by adding another search term. So you could come up here and type in the word and between two search terms and say overpopulation and environment and that will help narrow your search down a little bit. So now when your search results come up, you'll see you have fewer results within each database. So now you can see over here in the ProQuest Research Library, for example, that now you only have a little over 4,000 resources as opposed to 10,000. Anytime you wanna go back to Destiny's main page, click on the Destiny Discover link in the upper left corner. And you want to do this instead of hitting your browser's back button, because if you do that, it will log you out of Destiny, and then you'll have to log in again. So instead, just click on the Destiny Discover link. Also, these three little lines here in the left corner is the menu. We'll bring up the main menu. So from your main menu, you can go to other areas of Destiny, like collections. 
see what you have checked out. If you have any books on hold, finds, you can look at your checkout history. And of course, this is where you can access your favorites list. And there is also a help menu. So now let's go back and take a look at the favorites list. Click on the menu again and we'll go down to favorites. Here's a list of all of the resources that I've saved previously. Articles as well as books can be in this list. If I click on cite these titles, it will create an instant bibliography in MLA format that we can now copy and paste directly into our document. So we've looked at the books tab and we've looked at databases. There are also collections and open educational resources. You can think of collections like a digital scrapbook on a particular topic. It can contain information um, like books, ebooks, database articles, websites, even YouTube videos. And it's a great way to put all of your resources in one location so you can have endless numbers of collections. So with collections, you can come up to the search bar and type in any topic and search all of the public collections on that topic. For example, maybe you want to look for some information on climate change. And when you do that, you'll get a list of all the public collections that have been put together on that topic. You can also come over to the main menu and click on collections where you can just browse all of the collections. You can browse the featured collections. You can browse well over 4,000 public collections, and here you can also create your own private collection. To go back to the main Destiny page, let's click on the menu, and then you're just going to click on Destiny Discover to go back to the main page. You can also get to the Collections tab at the very bottom. If you scroll down, you can also go to Collections from here and just click See All. And that will also bring up the Collections tab. So open educational resources are any type of educational materials that are public domain or introduced with an open license. That means that anyone can legally and freely copy, use, adapt, or reshare them. So any subject that you type in on the search bar, you can scroll through and look at all of the open educational resources on that topic. So I'll be putting together another video on how to use collections and how you can share collections in your Google Classroom, how you can put together your own set of collections, or even copy public collections. So stay tuned for my next video. Thanks for watching.